Namaskar I am Biju Dharmapalan and you are watching Science Time a show that brings you the latest developments from the world of science and technology Let's first look at some of the exciting stories that happened this week Australia gives world first approval for fecal transplants Overweight neutron star defies a black hole theory 65 percentage of insects on earth to go extinct due to climate change now let's see the news in detail australia has given regulatory approval for fecal transplants it has become the first country in the world to do so for such a transplant food donors who have to meet a list of conditions provide healthy genetic material from their microbiomes the microbiomes are collected and delivered into the gastrointestinal tract of an unhealthy person where they have been shown to treat conditions such as potentially deadly bacteria clostridium difficile colitis or c diff the transplants are currently delivered through the colon but oral delivery is expected to be available shortly biome bank in adelaide has become the first company in the world to have regulatory approval for this donor derived microbiome therapy the therapeutic goods administration australia granted approval for fecal microbiota transplants as a low risk biological for the restoration of gut microbiota in the management of gastrointestinal disorders Now let's move to the next story. An overweight neutron star has been observed by astronomers who say the mysterious object confounds astronomical theories. The hypermassive star was produced by the merger of two smaller neutron stars. Normally such collisions result in neutron stars so massive that they collapse into a black hole almost instantaneously under their own gravity but the latest observations revealed the monster star hovering in view for more than a day before it faded out of sight neutron stars are the smallest densest stars in existence occupying a sweet spot between conventional stars and black holes they are about 12 miles wide and so dense that a teaspoon of material would have a mass of 1 billion tons they have a smooth crust of pure neutrons 10 billion times stronger than steel the unexpected sightings were made using nasa's orbiting neil gehrel swift observatory which detected the initial gamma ray burst coming from a galaxy about 10.6 billion light years away these findings are published in the journal astrophysical let's move to the next story while humans suffer from intense damage due to climate catastrophes a new study indicates that a majority of the insect population will go extinct under the influence of changing climate researchers found that 65 percentage of insect population on the planet could go extinct over the next century the details of this study have been published in the journal nature climate change according to the study climate mediated changes in thermal stress can destabilize animal populations and promote extinction risk the study also points out that the effects of climate change may be more extensive than previously predicted the team used advanced models to explore how cold blooded insect populations would respond to projected temperature changes over the next century they found that 25 out of 38 insect species they studied could face increased extinction risk especially due to dramatic and erratic temperature swings in their local environments scientists have long projected how climate change will negatively affect biological diversity and the amount of variation found in the genes species and ecosystems on earth 
Maintaining diversity is essential for human health, food security, clean air and water, and millions of agricultural related jobs worldwide. The present study showed that due to extreme temperature changes, 65% of 38 populations studied could face an increased risk of extinction over the next 50 to 100 years. Temperature changes are particularly threatening for cold-blooded insects because they lack mechanisms to regulate their body temperature during drastic swings. Every organism has a role in the ecosystems and so do insects. They assist with the production of fruits, vegetables and flowers through pollination apart from decomposing organic matter. Insects also help in controlling harmful pests. According to the Nature Conservancy, insects act as sanitation experts cleaning up waste so that the world doesn't become overrun with dung. At their predatory levels, they are responsible for hunting pests. Insects like uh, ladybugs are critical for the health of plants affected by aphids. The loss of these insect population could alter the balance of nature on the planet. Now let's move to the segment Science Quest. The question for this week's Science Quest is, how does machine learning GANs work? GANs stands for Generative Adversarial Network, a machine learning model widely used in image and video generation. GANs are clever machine learning algorithms that use neural networks which can be compared as a simplified computer models of the brain in a specific way. We call them generative because once they have been trained on a data set, they can generate new examples that resemble what they have seen. Train a generative machine learning algorithm on a data set comprising millions of uh, photos of faces and it will be able to generate new photorealistic faces. Many machine learning algorithms need supervision like uh, teaching a student in a classroom. We must tell them what the data represents and tell them if they get the answer right or not. The beauty of GANs is that they don't need supervision. They teach themselves. This kind of unsupervised machine learning is achieved because a GAN has a split personality. It uses two neural networks to compete against each other. While one neural network looks at the training data and then tries to generate something new, the other neural network tries to discriminate between this output and the training data set. The first network is rewarded every time it fools the second one. The second one is rewarded every time it is not fooled. Both networks are improved by repetition with the aim of maximizing those rewards. The resulting internal arms race causes the first network to become extremely good at generating outputs that are indistinguishable from the training set. When we give a GAN additional information or we augment its data by messing with it, then it can do remarkable things. GANs can generate higher resolution versions of images or convert one into another style or even convert day to night or summer to winter in an image. With this, we come to the end of this edition of Science Time. Keep sending your feedback and suggestions through email. Our email ID is indiascience at vigyanprasar.gov.in We will be back with more exciting stories from the world of science next week. Stay tuned to India Science.